Hey everybody, today we'll be comparing and ordering. Exciting! Let's start with comparing these two numbers. We want to start with our leftmost place value. In this case, it's the hundred thousands, and it appears I have a one in both places. That doesn't help me decide which number is bigger. If we move to the ten thousands, I have a two in both places. That doesn't help me either. When I get to the thousands place, I have a three and a five. Those are different. Now I can make a comparison. The five is larger than the three which means that the number on the right is larger altogether. Okay, let's try another example. Here I have 123,456 compared to 95,456. When I start on the left, I have a one in the hundred thousands place, but on the right, I don't have anything in the hundred thousands place. So how do I compare those? Well, the fact that I don't have anything in the hundred thousands place on the right is essentially nothing. I have a big fat zero. Well, my one in the hundred thousands place is bigger than zero, so my number on the left is bigger. Okay, let's look at ordering. Dun, da, da, da. Here I have three numbers. Again, I will start on the left with the leftmost place value. I have a six for everybody in the hundred thousands, so we move on. I have a seven for everybody in the ten thousands, so we move on. I have eights and nines in the thousands. Well, here I have a difference. Nine is bigger than eight, which makes the 679,000 number the largest of them all. So if I'm ordering from greatest to least, the 679,000 number is the biggest. So we'll put it on the left. Now we just want to compare these last two. Well, I know that the six and the seven and the eight are all the same. So now I'm in the hundreds place comparing the four and the five. Well, the five is larger, which makes the 678,523 the next number in my greatest to least lineup, which puts 678,423 as least. If I want to write this as a comparative statement, I'll need to put in my greater than symbols. Okay, one last example. So here I have the weights of four cars, and we want to order them from least to greatest and find out which one's third in the lineup. Okay, so we're going to start like we have with our leftmost place value, which is the thousands. They're all the same, so that doesn't help us decide. So we move to the hundreds, where I have a four, a three, a three, and a four. So the ones that have threes in the hundreds place are smaller than the ones that have fours in the hundreds place. Now I move to the tens place, where I have a two and a nine, Two is smaller than nine, which makes this number the smallest of them all. So let's put it on the left side. Now, we had just discussed that the three is smaller than the fours, so that makes this one next in my lineup. Now I just have these last two to compare. We know we have a three in both thousands, a four in both hundreds. We have a nine in both tens place, so I'm down to the ones where I have a six and a five. The five is the smallest, which makes that number next in our lineup, which makes 3,496 the greatest. So, what was the original question? It was, which one is third in the lineup? And that is 3,495. Okay, now it's your turn to practice comparing and ordering.